Our team is called Father John Redmond, and we are the Red Hawks. Red, white, blue, red. We really work as a team. It's not just like one person. If one of us goes down, we all go down, so we have to have that teamwork spirit. Both spirit and hard work go a long way when you're cheerleading. Most of this team is grade nine. Most of them have never cheered before. Um, so we really started at the basics this year. One, three, five, six. My banner's up there. For 11 years, Christine St. Clair has been coaching the spirit team at this high school. She was also on the team herself back in 1989. Seven, eight, one, but this year's team is one that stands out. Earlier this year, they went to Worlds and they won. I think as soon as we found out we won, it was a little bit confusing in the moment and then everybody sort of like realized what was going on and the team got like a whole lot stronger in that moment. Yeah! Our colors! Yeah. To be the first Canadian high school ever to win a world championship in any division was just like, we were like, our mouths were like... <laughs> and you guys won these. We won these. World oh, champions. Wow, these are pretty nice. They are, I know. We... Do you think one of the girls would notice if I take one out? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No jacket for me, but a lesson in cheer wouldn't hurt. So I put a bow in my hair and got the cheerleading glow down. Well, make sure that you're squeezing your core. Twenty dollar bail between your butt cheeks and squeezing as tight as you can. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, double bass. Okay. You're ready. Yep. You got this. Congratulations, Father John Remen, cheerleading team. You're this week's Athlete of the Week. If you know an outstanding athlete, here's how to contact us.